What's important about the steam revolution and the development of precision engineered steam engines is not just one or two particular technical changes, like for example the ability to control the way in which steam forces pistons along, or the invention of the separate condenser by James Watt, so, so that you saved on the cost of fuel, but above all the construction of an entire highly complex technological system which brought together resources from metalworking, from gun foundry, from the clockwork trades, and from distillation and brewing skills. So it's the Western European capacity to combine in the same place a group of heterogeneous, of different kinds of skills, which are then going to be coordinated so that they work together and can be fitted together into a single highly complicated technical system that makes all the difference. A good example of this is that it's not just that in order to build reliable working steam engines that don't blow up and can work permanently for very long periods of time, you need um, the skills, say, of cannon boring, but that the new systems of cannon boring developed in the later 18th century relied on um, steam engines to drive the cannon around the bore. So what you see in the West is this productive, positive feedback in which one technical system is constantly feeding off and suggesting innovations in the other. And I think that's part of the key to entrepreneurial and technical advance in the West.